It was just last week when a Harvard study revealed the death toll in Puerto Rico following Hurricane Maria could be nearly 5,000. Now, a local nonprofit is one of 20 in the country getting a grant to help evacuees without health insurance. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor checks back in with the group in tonight's Getting Results for Your Health. Eight months ago, we met with Marnie Stallman, president and CEO of nonprofit Shepherd's Hope, as she was working to get results for people still recovering from Hurricanes Irma and Maria. We're connecting these individuals that are coming off with virtually nothing. In the time since our interview, the five freestanding health centers in Orange and Seminole counties have helped more than a thousand under or uninsured patients. Stallman tells us now their patient total for 2017 is 19,575 free visits. What that means is the patients that were here from Puerto Rico have not dispersed. And that's really extraordinary for us, especially at the last part of the year. That last quarter typically isn't a trending time where we see a high volume. She says Shepherd's Hope relies on donations. And this week, they'll be getting a $121,000 grant for continued relief efforts from the devastating hurricanes. This grant comes afterwards, recognizing what we did, but also helping to prepare us for what's gonna come. The hurricane season is here, and we know that we're gonna probably more than likely, if not get a direct hit, still be affected. They've been able to help many evacuees get free health care, but some still don't qualify for the same benefits in Florida. The criteria for what someone would be eligible back on the island to receive is not the same here. And we had a huge problem because not only were they not covered, they were language, there were language barriers. Stallman tells us now they're preparing for patients who will need immediate aid in the event of another storm, those with high blood pressure or diabetes. Patients like Kevin, who describes his introduction to Shepherd's Hope as a godsend. I don't have benefits and, and in doing so they just really been able to help me out. And we know people want to help. Water helps and so do umbrellas. It rains here and as you can see patients line up before the clinics even open. If you drop off umbrellas, Stallman tells me they'll hand them out to patients getting to and from on the bus along with a bottle of water. Getting results for your health, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.